That was amazing. Thank you. Very well played, everyone. Mr. CMED, thanks for coming Thank out. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. Thank yeah, you very much. Absolutely. Sammy, you come from London, mm -hmm. UK. And if you guys haven't seen any of Sammy, has got quite a few videos online. You're a great clinician as well. Absolutely. A very creative player. Mm -hmm. You've also played with some guys such as uh, Roy Haynes. We've also played with David Bowie at one point, mm -hmm. African, African Jazz All-Stars, and the Maestro M. Balachandar. Mm -hmm. it's, quite the, it's quite the list. Thank so, you. Thank you. So you're known for your, your four-way coordination. You've got incredible independence, as we saw there. And if you guys were watching him play that song, you might wonder, I did at first, where that backbeat was coming from. And he's actually got a snare mounted to his left foot there. You can see it in the foot cam. Very cool device. You also have a cowbell and a wood block on there, too. True. Yeah. How do you manage all that stuff? Practice. A lot of practice. Yeah. And, uh, and vision, I guess. Yeah. Very cool. We've got, we got a great lesson for you today. It's all about creative exploration on the left foot. And um, you guys go follow CME online. You can find him at cmedsystem.com. You can also check him out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at CMED. Absolutely. Huge thanks to Andrew at Liberty Drums for uh, bringing Absolutely. us. Incredible. Amazing kit. Wow. And I think you were saying he built it just like a couple weeks before he shipped it out. Two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. Two weeks ago. It's super fresh. Wow. Looks amazing. Sounds mm. incredible. So you guys, make sure you check out Liberty Drums. You guys mm. did a great job on this kit and for bringing CME out. So again, huge thanks. Check out CMED online. Follow on Facebook. Check out some of his other videos. But now let's talk about creative exploration on the left foot. I've done a lot of lessons inside of Drumio on left foot independence, mm -hmm. on keeping time with your left foot. But this is a little bit different. This is more conceptual. Um, how to get creative, I guess? Yeah, it's, um, it's a way, it's kind of a different way of, um, the way to look at the, the drum set. It's, an, it's another avenue. Mm -hmm. This is what I want. I want to. I want to build upon, and um, it's not. It's not. You don't change the uh, the principle of the drum set. It's still backbeat based, but it's, it's another avenue. Right. And um, yeah, bringing more colors and um, going somewhere else, expression I love it. wise. I love it. It's a really yeah. cool topic. Uh, something that we all struggle with as drummers. Download the PDF, everyone who's watching live. Mm -hmm. It's more conceptual, but there is some exercises that you're going to go through that help build that uh, relationship with your left foot. And if you guys don't have a left foot snare drum, I know I don't, but there's still a lot of use you can do with your hi hats. So Absolutely. that being said, Sammy, I'll let you take it away, man. Absolutely. Remember, um, what I'm going to show you now, it's much more how to establish a conversation between your limbs, your feet. It's nothing to do, it's not a um, single stroke combined kind of, uh, the way we do it naturally, which is, it's not that, it's much more conversation. The top will keep the two and four, and my feet will have a conversation. It's about creating, building, creating lyricism, being lyrical with your, with the, uh, the weak limb, okay? Let me show you a few examples, mm -hmm. okay? Conversation. Backbeat. The right's gonna talk and the left's gonna reply. Dum 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 ding. Reply. Okay. And you create like, the same way you have a conversation, you've gone the uh, inflection, dynamics, and um, you, you've just been creative. Example. That's the idea. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, I mean, at first, it's gonna, the, the concept will be fairly alien. It takes time, but as long as you, your mind, you open your mind a little bit and you go into that field, then it gets easier. It's the same way, uh, the same way you learn a different language. Mm -hmm. At first, it seems very daunting and um, it's really scary. The more you go into that field, the easier it gets, the same principle. Mm -hmm. So creatively, you're thinking about your foot almost like a, uh, like a hand. Like you Absolutely. Think. Now, Absolutely. you have some exercises here to help e explain this, I guess. Absolutely. You want to go through those? Okay. 
So you've got exercise one, the, uh, the bass drum start. First establish the backbeat. First bar. And repeat. Get comfortable. Get comfortable and then you also. Second bar. First bar, second, as soon as you feel comfortable, you add difficulties on top, okay, let me show you, one, two, three, ah. Uh. Another one, different colors. One, two, three, ah. Again, remember conversation dynamics. Then when you get when you're used to it, the same way you start from the the right unison stroke, left and back. Let me show you. Back to square one. One, two, three, ah. Transfer. Oh, left. Oh, back and right. Again, add colors. Again, imagination, the top, uh, you can go somewhere else, the tom, back to square one, and I'm gonna have the tom. Dynamics being lyrical. And more and more, and then you can add more longer phrase. Instead of a one bar phrase, could be a two two bar phrase. For example. Very cool. Mm. Let's go through the other. The other. Yeah, Thank you. There. Exercise two. Yeah. Okay. Well, establish a backbeat. Get used to feeling the um, the tempo. Uh. Bar one. Bar one. And now bar two. Oh, sorry. Now the combine. One, two, three, four. Lyrical dynamics. Transfer. Together, dynamics.
Very cool. Okay, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Exercise three. Well, again, you establish the top. You feel comfortable. And you go with your the bass drum. Bar one. And that two. Okay, to combine. Well, Okay, dynamics. Different colors. Dynamics. Okay. Exercise four. Again, same principle. You establish the top. Bar one. Bench drum. Same principle. Love it. Yeah. Thank now, you. Now, for those who don't have a snare drum on their left foot, does this work with hi hats? What the hi hats, the same thing. Remember, it's about you've got two hi hats, same family, but different voice, like brothers and sisters. Different voices, same family. An example I establish the back beat to feel comfortable, and then And okay, okay, I'm gonna play the exercise four. One, two, three, four. You see? And let me show you another example, which is not written. One, two, um, down now you add colors use your imagination and so forth and you can add as much as you want the key is being lyrical, and then when you open your mind, you can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. You can just explore anything. So how did you practice this to develop that independence? Because that's hard. That stuff's hard to do. Um, practice slowly, and um, but seriously, it's about going there every single day. Mm. Every single day you have to go there. It's the same principle when you want to learn a language. If I want to learn Chinese, I go to China, and every day I need to meet Chinese and practice my Chinese with Chinese people. It's the same principle. Mm -hmm. There's no other way around it. You cannot, you know, you have to do it every day. And um, enjoy the practice, enjoy the difficulties, and then your mind will switch at some point and it's gonna make sense. Mm -hmm. You won't be fighting yourself. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. Well, when I sat on the kit, the first thing I started doing was I was playing my backbeat with my foot, but I was also still playing with my left hand. I couldn't separate the two. It's, it's, it's a hard mindset to get out of. Yeah, but seriously, it's uh, what, I, what I tend to do. Remember, when you do the four-way coordination, it's about being, it's about developing more reflexes. When you use just three limbs, mm -hmm. you develop a set of reflexes. Mm -hmm. Four, it's somewhere else. Okay, let me give you an example. And um, the best, for me, the best method, the method I do, watch TV, uh, listen to someone talking, and try to repeat what they're saying. I can do an example with you. 
a simple, simple backbeat, say something really brief, and I'm gonna try to repeat it. Okay. Watch CMD play this back. Now watch him do something else on the drums. You see what I mean? It's yeah. that. Okay. Suddenly you, I go there, I'm listening to you, and this becomes this kind of a mantra. You just repeat it. You, you don't fear the, uh, the exercise. You just you establish this. The key, you need to establish the, uh, the ostinato for five minutes, and then you go into those exercises about how to, do, how to become more reactive. Listen to, seriously, watch TV and repeat the phrase. Can I try again? On this lesson, CMED is going to talk about creative exploration with the left foot. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay. It's, the, it's one, it's a way, it's um, this is the way I do it, seriously. It's almost like putting your feet on like uh, autopilot. So exactly. It's easier exactly. said than done. Now you have showed us a couple examples, sheet music there you guys can practice along to. Um, let's get inspired though. I wanna see some really cool things that you could do with your left foot. Maybe you wanna play us a solo. And then afterwards you've got your favorite beats you're gonna teach us as well. But okay. let's do a solo. I wanna see what you can do with your left foot. Okay. So I'm gonna play a composition dedicated to a friend of mine called Alpesh. Alpesh is from India and um, what, what he likes, it's a um, different influence from the world. So I'm going to play Indian-based um, concept and also African and something else as well. Very cool. Okay.
Yes, <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Nice job. Thank you. And a lot of that you were able to just keep the movement going with your feet underneath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you didn't have your snare wires on the whole time, I noticed. True. And um, just to hide you know, a different voice on the snare drum. On the, um, the snare drum, I love this. This ring, so I can do the same way I do with my voice. So with a groove. Love it. That's the idea. Yeah. Mm. Well, hopefully that gives you guys some ideas what you can do with your left foot. Um, you have some beats that you notated for us in this lesson. Absolutely. Siemi's favorite grooves. Do you want to explain those and maybe teach us all three? Oh, the Cuban drumming bass. First, you establish the other feet. One, two, slowly. One, two, three, number five. One, two, three, four. Cuban drum and bass. There you go. Let's go to number six. Okay. Maxim. It's a Middle Eastern groove, and um, I'm going to try to bring some rock element into the Maxim. First, the feet. different texture, different snare drum, like so. Cool. Sort of um, your imagination and feel, go there, really dare to go there. Mm -hmm. It gets easier. The more you do it every day, it gets easier. Yeah. And it's crazy how much more uh, freedom you have when you can take care of one of those elements with your left foot instead Absolutely. of it just being an anchor or keeping your balance, you know, um, opens up so many doors. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. These are cool, cool grooves. We're going to be teaching a lot more of these inside of the Drum You Edge members section. We're doing a whole course, um, seven challenges for your left foot, grooves from around the world. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, head on over to drumyou.com if you're watching this on YouTube because we're going to be filming a lot more. But you have one more groove to teach us. Mm -hmm. Let's check that one out. Okay, this is a 7-8, and um, it's a composition of mine. It goes, the feet. You have the 
ride. Very cool. So, anything else to add? There's a lot of stuff we could do with your left foot. We've only just touched the surface. It helps to, to explore rhythm from across the world. And um, it helps to maybe get an interest in learning percussion. You, you're going to find those grooves anyway, like the Maxuma just played now. It's a typical Middle Eastern groove on the, um, I think it's being played on the Darbuka. Rutat kadumta, rutat kadumta. This is what I would advise to, to start with, learning more rhythm and take your time, establish the ostinato the way you want to, you wanna, um, what you want to practice, what you want to achieve, and then learn to be reactive, which is TV on and just try to capture those phrases, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Show us some more stuff with the hi-hat for those who don't have multi-pedals. Okay. So I'm going to play Apache do Alto, rhythm from north of Brazil. Another groove, everyone knows. To to pack, pack, to pack, to to pack, pack. Listen to the brushes. It's gonna translate even better. To to pack, pack, to pack, to to pack, pack, to pack. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need to, you can buy a, a Liberty snare drum, I mean foot snare of course, but to start with you don't have to. Don't feel like, oh I don't have the, uh, the foot snare, I cannot do, I cannot go there. You can go there with a the hi-hat, it's been around for so many years, you can explore it the way, you know, as a snare drum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a quiet one. Well, thank you so much, Matt. Thank you. Ton, tons of great information here, but more so it's very inspirational. You know, I find myself wanting to go and buy one of those snares. Absolutely. Just to try it out. Thank you. It's a very creative lesson, and it's a great approach. The grooves you play are, are very creative. They're coming at it from different angles, you know, um, things that I would normally play, especially on that first song, um, you didn't even go there, which is what I love, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If you guys want, we're going to be... All you Edge members out there, we're going to be releasing the song, the first song that Sammy played to as a play along, as well as the next song that we're going to get to right now. Now, Sammy, before we did this lesson, you did an incredible solo that we filmed. We're going to be releasing it inside of Drumio. Um, do you want to do that one one more time or one similar to that? Okay. Am I putting you on the spot? Is that cool? No problem. Okay. No problem. All right, so let's get one more quick, because I got to get it, get it while you're here. Uh, one more quick solo, then we'll play you out with a song, another song that uh, CME has uh, um, provided for us. And Absolutely. I guess hope you enjoy it. Snare off. Okay.
Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank I, you. I know I put you on the spot there, but you killed it. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. This is jazz. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> so one question that uh, I have for you and Jared asked for you as well is uh, you have tons of pedals here. Well, what inspired you to, to put so many pedals down there and start exploring with both feet so much? When I was a kid and um, we uh, studied, you know, Western classical music as a kid and I used to... You know the, the joke about drummers and percussionists in school? Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you need music to play along to express yourself. And, uh, and most of the pianists could just go to a room and start to play by themselves. And I was thinking, I'm sure there's a way to, to do the same on the drum set because I love the drum set. I didn't feel like going and learning the piano for the sake of soloing. And then when I was 16, Max Roach, the, um, the CD, I think that was a, uh, an album full of drum music. Um, Max, it's not my generation, I was, mm, what what's this, mm -hmm. you know? But Terry Bozio, and uh, Terry Bozio opened that door for me. And hopefully I'll, may, I don't mean to, to sound vain and, um, and very um, pretentious, but I hope that I'm doing the same by opening another door to another drummer somewhere in the room. Terry Bozier opened that door for me. Suddenly I realized that I can be a pianist on the drum set. And it's how I approach everything now because I bring the Western classical, which is tone, lyricism, expression, and using dynamics to, to talk around well, the way you talk. You don't talk like this all the time. You don't scream all the time. So this is the Western classical is the touch. Mm. The ostinato is the pianist performing a tune, right. you know, composition. It's, that's, this is the vision I had as a kid, but I didn't know how to open that door. Max Roach and Terry Bozio did it for me. Love it. Yeah. Very and, cool. uh, and then it gets easier because now with the, uh, the DJ culture, I realize I can do similar kind of, you know, um, expression, mm -hmm. similar kind of way of performing. You want me to show you? Yeah, please do. Yeah. DJs. Drum and bass used to have different snare, same principle. By having those kind of multi voice, you can create tension and resolution, which is you go from four to six and back. Cool stuff. So, so what's been your biggest challenge uh, in development being a full-time musician? I think music, it's, it's, uh, it's one of the most beautiful thing in the world. And, um, and I travel across the world that sometimes money, with money, just having money, doesn't mean that people will open the door to you to their, the jam of the culture. With music, you can. Mm -hmm. It touches everyone. Mm -hmm. It touches the soul of everyone. And the drum, you do, because many, many times everyone says, ah, oh, drum solo are just awful, it's boring and everything. But none, a lot of people love drum solo, it's the expression of the drum. And uh, this is what I wanted to do, mm. you know. Um, explore different culture, play the drums, and you realize music and the drum touch people. Mm -hmm. And um, I find it extremely fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, you've done a great job. I, I, I'm inspired. I hope you guys are inspired too, give you some ideas instead of just thinking about your left foot on the hi-hat all the time. Anything else to add before we wrap everything up? 
Uh, Liberty Drums, Liberty Drums, Liberty Drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out their left foot snare. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you so much, Andrew. The kit sounds great, and it looks amazing too. Uh, again, make sure you guys follow Siebe once he's done this lesson. For all you Edgers, Drum You Edge members, we're going to do some pretty cool courses, plus the songs that are played in this lesson are going to be available as a download for you as a play-along. <sighs> that being said, man, do you want to play us out with one last tune? Okay. And this song is called Florence. Florence, okay. Correct? And you wrote the, the song, correct? Say again? You wrote this tune? Yes, I did. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I did. All the composition you can drum you has them. So Ola and Florence, they are, they're in the bank. So you can contact drum you and you'll have those tunes. And enjoy it. And please call me or send me, drop a line, and hey, send me your songs yeah. or the drumming, and we need to stay connected. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you again so much, Sammy. Thank I'll you. see you guys all later. Enjoy Florence. Mm-hmm.